afternoon vlog. I am back and for those of you who don't know me, my name is Christine and this is my vlog channel. Usually I just vlog things that happen in my life but yeah this video is actually gonna be really different. I am going to give you guys five tips on how to stay motivated to work out because I think I finally cracked it. I'm finally done being lazy guys. I am being consistent with it these past few months. I've actually been really active and I've been a lot more happier and a lot less stressed. So what better way than to document and let you guys in on this? Because if you're struggling with this, I'm here for you. But yeah, let me go change the camera battery. Let me get a whole new setup going because we are going to talk about this. All right, change the camera battery, got the setup started. Let's just get straight into it. My five tips on how to stay motivated to work out, guys. So my first tip is find a workout that works for you. This is so important because what works for one person is obviously not gonna work out for another person. So there's cycling, swimming, there's jazzercise, there's spin cycle, there's running. Something that I have realized is my type of workout is running. There's just something about it. I just love running. And it took me a while to realize that just because I tried out so many different things. I remember last semester I tried out weightlifting. Just wasn't my thing. But you know, everyone has their things and it's so important to know what workout works best for you. And the great thing about it is you start putting more effort into it because you're more interested in that workout and that workout gets you more excited. The second tip I have for you guys is go to sleep early. Go to sleep early because it is something that I have started to do a lot and it's honestly made me a lot more productive, a lot more happier and it's also again helped me stay more motivated to work out because back then when I used to go to sleep late and wake up at like 1, 2 p.m. I would have to hit up a class, work a little and the next thing you know the day's already over. But when you wake up, set a plan, and you just get out there and start doing your thing, working out, it honestly sets a good mood for the day. And plus, you get a good seven to nine hours of sleep, depending on how much you sleep. But it's also so important to get sleep because it's not going to do you wonders later. Step three, make a playlist. And when I say make a playlist, make a playlist you will absolutely love. Like, it is your jam. It will get your adrenaline pumping because when I go out and run when I play my playlist I'm just having the time of my life because I get so lost into the music it is actually insane the difference it does when you're just putting on a couple of tunes so what I actually do is go on Spotify and I create a playlist and right now I have a playlist and it's just the little running man emoji just let me know it's my running playlist and all I did was just add a bunch of songs that I really like. I put a lot of throwback songs, remixes. I even put some EDM. And the great thing about Spotify is if you go and scroll down, Spotify actually detects what kind of music you're listening to. So then they actually recommend other songs that you might like so that you can add it into your playlist. And then you just hit the add button and it goes straight into that playlist. And the great thing about this is they customize it for each playlist. So now when I run, I'm just jamming out. I sometimes I forget that I'm sweating and like my feet hurt because the music or the song is just too good. The fourth tip I have for you guys is to get a workout buddy. It is absolutely a game changer because keeping yourself accountable is actually probably one of the hardest things to do because if you don't want to do it, you're just not going to do it. But if you have a workout partner, they might be more prone to, you know, encourage you and just get you out of your bed. So I actually signed up for a half marathon that's going to be in less than a month with my boyfriend and his mom. So since me and my boyfriend go to the same school, we have been waking up early and meeting up on Livingston and we just run. And a lot of the times I'm like, I don't want to run. And he's like, get up, we're going. And sometimes he's like, oh, let me just sleep in a little, like come a little later. And I'm like, no, you got to get up now. We're going to go run because I'm busy later. And honestly, it's just a great way to keep each other accountable. Keep yourself accountable. And another great factor to having a workout buddy is 
you feel a lot more comfortable like i know how anxious people get like i know how anxious i would get sometimes at the gym because i felt like everyone was judging me or i wasn't doing something correctly and even with running like i feel like people were looking at me weird but with someone who you're comfortable with it makes things a lot more fun and it makes working out a lot more enjoyable and the last tip I have for you guys is honestly, if you slip up, just get back up and do it again. Because a lot of the time with working out and staying motivated, it's really just a mindset thing. Like I know there have been times where I'm like, you know what, this one day I'm just going to you know, have a little cheat day, eat a little chips, a little donuts, watch a little bit of Netflix. And then you're like, this is kind of nice. And then you do it again and again. And you're like, shoot, I should be working out. And then you're like really hard on yourself. And then you're like, you know what? I just give up. I'm just going to stick to this lifestyle because clearly the working out lifestyle isn't for me. Let me tell you right now, get out of that mindset. You can tell yourself, no, even though I slipped up, I'm going to get back up the next morning and I'm going to work out again. Because now that I don't give myself a hard time, I feel like it's a lot less stressful and it's a lot less anxiety on myself and being too hard on myself. Because once you go down, the only thing you can do from there is go right back up. But just keeping it simple and having these five tips in front of me has really done wonders for me. And it has made me come to love working out and actually have such a healthy relationship with it. So I honestly hope you guys got something out of this. If you're struggling to work out and again, or if you're just starting to, just go for it, guys. So I hope that you guys can bring me along on your journey and let me know your takeaways on this. If anything, leave a comment down below about which tip you liked best and let me also know if you want more content like this because I'm willing to try different things but yeah again this will not be the last vlog so if you could leave a like down below or just subscribe to stay updated and you know press the notification bell button you can see more videos coming up soon and that's it guys bye